I am William G. Padolina. I am currently the uh, project manager of the Philippine California Advanced Research Institutes. My involvement, formal involvement with biotechnology really started in 1979 when the National Institutes of Biotechnology and Applied Microbiology was established by the UP Board of Regents. I was then just an assistant professor in chemistry at UP Los Baños. And at that time, President Marcos was very interested in getting the Philippines involved in biotechnology research. So he invited two of the leading chief executive officers of the companies in U.S., namely CITUS and uh, Genentech. And they came over and recommended that we set up an institute. And that's how biotech uh, started. I got drafted into the cabinet of President Ramos in 1992 as undersecretary and then appointed acting secretary in 1994 and was uh, confirmed. But President Estrada renewed my appointment and I stayed on until 1999. During my term as Secretary of Science and Technology, of course, I promoted and tried my best to promote research in biotechnology. Got engaged in formal research in biotechnology in, in three areas. One is in medicinal plants, which is my formal training for my doctoral degree. I'm a phytochemist by training. And second, I had very strong interest in developing higher valued products from coconut, especially coconut oil. And third, the uh, what we call the sucrochem projects. And that's where I got engaged in research on acetone butanol production from farm molasses and uh, the conversion of rice straw into biogas. Science now, as we know it in the Philippines, unfortunately is too biased to information technology. It is as if, if we have computers, we're already high tech. That's not really the full picture. We can be having a lot of computers, but if we only have, and we do have only, 90 to 95 physicists with doctoral degrees, this country is not going to move forward very much. Unless we balance this picture, including those that will be engaged in biotechnology research, we will probably not move as fast as we want to. I think we need to work harder. Investments in biotechnology projects have to be enhanced. It is not a matter of putting in just more money, but looking at the quality of the research and the kind of problems that we have to address and the need for teamwork to be enhanced. As I said, the problem is so complex, it cannot be solved just by just one scientist. It has to be a team, we have to work together, hopefully, with the infrastructure that we are going to build, not only for research but also in communications, we will be able to move a little bit faster. I'd like to extend my greetings to the uh, participants of the National Biotechnology Week. This has been an annual celebration and I am so happy to see that it has been sustained. I think the theme for this year's celebration is very appropriate and hopefully the discussions and different activities that will take place will be very productive and meaningful for the, the country's future. Biotechnologiya para sa kalikasan, kalusugan, kagandahan, kabuhayan, at kaunlaran. Lamang ang masa at magsasaka. Sa limang K ng Biotechnologiya.